The Oral-B IO9 and 10 have seven different cleaning modes. The Philips Sonic Air Prestige has five modes, each of which can be set one of three different intensities, which is equivalent to 25 different brushing configurations. The Oclean X Pro Elite has four different modes and up to 32 levels of intensity to choose from, which could be considered as up to 128 different options. Are all of these necessary and do they really matter? That and how do these different modes and intensities compare between models and brands is the question I'm going to answer. Okay, so let me get straight to the key points. The first thing is that what I feel and perceive the cleaning modes and intensities to be like is potentially going to be different to you. I've got a normal set of healthy teeth and gums. I'm not going to be triggered by the more powerful brushes compared to someone with inflamed and bleeding gums and maybe a few decaying teeth. I've also got 10 years of toothbrush testing under my belt, so I've built up a tolerance to certain intensities. But having tested in excess of 200 brushes in this time, I'm well placed to comment on how they compare. What I have learned is that too much choice is generally not a good thing for most people. In many instances, the choice of just two modes or configurations is more than enough. Very few are ever going to need 25 or more different possible combinations. Judging by the interactions I have with other electric toothbrush users and even dental professionals, most, like me, tend to stick to one mode for most of their brushing. Some, myself included, will switch modes if available, but only occasionally. The conclusion the electric teeth team have come to from our own testing and having analysed lots of clinical studies is that there is little justification for additional modes and intensities. One mode, the default clean mode, is more than sufficient for most. That said, we do generally recommend toothbrushes that have an additional mode. Our preference is for a stronger everyday clean mode alongside a more gentle and less intense sensitive or gum health mode. Generally, we want the option of a more intense and more gentle option for those times we prefer one or the other. Search Electric Teeth Best Electric Toothbrush to view our top picks. Whilst less power can potentially mean less effective cleaning results, it isn't as easy as just saying a sensitive mode cleans less effectively. There are other factors at play including the brush head, brushing time, brushing technique and more. It's not worth worrying about this too much. It's better to pick a brush, select the mode that feels best for you and focus on brushing for two minutes twice a day with the correct technique. Do this and you will remove the vast majority of potentially harmful plaque that build up on the teeth. I do then advise supporting that with good oral care habits such as those shown in this video. That's our top line verdict, but I shall now dig into the details a bit more to give more insight from all the testing our team have done having used so many different models. A cleaning mode is a specific configuration of the duration and intensity with which the bristles move to perform the described action. The bristles may be set to move at a different rate on a whitening mode compared to a sensitive mode, for example. The intensity is the rate at which the bristles vibrate during the mode, when such choice is available. This is an area where electric toothbrushes have perhaps become more complicated than necessary. Typically, I find a standard mode and a sensitive mode, or a high and low intensity, is sufficient. Even just having a single mode or intensity can be enough. In this scenario, you can make use of a soft bristled sensitive brush head should you find the mode included is too intense. Just changing the bristles can make a real difference to the overall feel. For example, the Sonicare Series 5300 has two brushing intensities. This is satisfactory. The Series 5500 on the other hand has two cleaning modes but no intensity settings. One of the two modes is whitening, which I don't find particularly useful compared to having a lower intensity mode or setting on the 5300. Whitening mode uses the standard clean settings for two minutes, then increases the power for a further 30 seconds at the end to supposedly remove stains from the tooth surfaces. I can achieve something similar with two intensities. Use the standard mode for two minutes, then when the brush powers off, turn it back on and use the higher intensity mode to polish my tooth surfaces. Truthfully, brushing your teeth with an electric toothbrush in standard mode for two minutes twice a day should remove most surface stains. It's not necessary to have a whitening mode for this. The reason to choose a brush with more modes and or intensities is if you want granular control over the brushing sensation. The 6100 series is a straightforward example. It has a standard clean and sensitive clean and three intensity settings. This essentially gives you six different intensity levels to choose from. 
If you suffer from sensitivity and want to find the right setting, this could be worth considering. Often, particularly in the case of the Oclean with 32 levels of intensity to choose from, there is little noticeable difference between level 2 or 4, but there is a more meaningful difference between 5 and 25 for example. The three intensity settings often found on a Philips Sonic airbrush are different. Low is noticeably slower and more gentle than medium and high. I can't say I've ever really felt the need for more than three different levels. Even then, I could probably have coped with a different mode or having just stuck with the default option. We do see examples of where a manufacturer will have only one brushing mode and a number of different brushing intensities. Or there will be several brushing modes, but no option to change between intensity. Oral B only ever sticks to different cleaning modes. Sonicare has brushes with different cleaning modes only, but as we progress up their range, they gain the option of three intensities, potentially in addition to additional cleaning modes. So the number of modes and intensities is not that important, generally speaking. Manufacturers offer such to differentiate their model from another. A brush with more modes and intensities might seem better than one with fewer options to the uninformed. Just to help confuse matters, manufacturers do tweak their brush motors to achieve different things. I know the 4100 series from Sonicare feels less intense than the Prestige 9900 because the 4100 was made to be more affordable. The highest intensity on the 3100 series feels like the lowest intensity on the 4100. But despite the differences and arguable lack of power, cleaning results are generally comparable. Their newest models at the time of recording have next-gen Sonicare technology, which is supposed to deliver more consistent bristle movement when under pressure in tight areas of the mouth. I've used new and old and I can't conclusively tell whether there is a difference or not. If there is, it's subtle. Oral-B are similar to Philips. Their Pro, Smart and Genius models use a different motor to the I.O. series. The I.O. series feels slightly softer and less intense on the teeth and gums, yet the I.O. series 2 doesn't use the same motor as other I.O. models or the Pro, Smart and Genius. It feels much more gentle and less intense. The Vitality uses a different motor configuration again. Oral-B for a long time altered the number of oscillations and pulsations the brush head offered. With the I.O. series, focuses switch more to bristle angle and frequency. To complicate matters further, the feel and intensity of a Philips Sonicare toothbrush can feel different to a Sonic toothbrush from Colgate, Quip, Surrey, Ordo or Aquasonic. Each is configured slightly differently. I'm not going to pretend I understand all of the technical elements here, but the frequency and amplitude can be tweaked to create different results and sensations, from a long and consistent pattern to those with regularly alternating sonic vibrations. Add in the different brush head styles, bristle cuts, firmness, etc. and there is a melting pot of factors that impact the brushing sensation. Many Sonic brushes feel similar on the teeth and gums, but the standard clean mode on Surrey does feel less intense compared to the standard clean mode on premium Sonicare toothbrush. Heck, the 4100 series feels different to the Sonicare 9900 Prestige. This is because the motors inside the brush that deliver the Sonic movements are configured differently. Quip's electric toothbrushes along with the Philips One by Sonicare feel weaker and less intense than any standard clean mode on a Sonicare or Oral-B brush. This is typically because they offer in the region of half the bristle movements, but they are softer and can be a happy balance between manual and the fuller power of most electric toothbrushes. The newer Quip 360 and Quip Ultra are different. Colgate's Hum models feel weaker and less invigorating than most Sonicare toothbrushes and all of Oral-B's models. It might not be obvious when you read a product listing or spec sheet, the brands don't always make it clear. Generally, the more expensive the brush, the more powerful and intense the motor can be, but the more options you have to configure your brushing choices. A lot of companies, like Oral-B, don't state their motor speeds. Sonicare have moved from quoting brush strokes to movements. 62,000 movements looks far more impressive than 31,000 brush strokes, but the reality is they are the same, if our understanding is correct. There are two movements to every stroke, hence a brush with 31,000 strokes is no less powerful than a brush with 62,000 movements. Oh, and some manufacturers state this as vibrations. You probably see how answering this question now is somewhat challenging. To a new electric toothbrush user, it doesn't need to be a deal breaker. All electric toothbrushes produce far more bristle movements than a manual toothbrush, which should result in better plaque removal with less effort. But the intensity of premium models can be too much. 
or for some, the power is underwhelming. It depends on your preference and belief of what an electric toothbrush might deliver for you. Long-standing electric toothbrush users may notice a difference between models or brands. It depends on what you are used to. The sensation of a Philips Sonicare brush compared to an Oral-B is quite different. Both clean the teeth well, but the Oral-Bs to me have always felt the more intense and aggressive, giving that deeper clean feeling. But this isn't to everyone's liking. Sonicare brushes are typically far more gentle and softer. A lot of users say it's a more ticklish sensation. Subject to your preference, this could be a good thing. A sensitive mode on a Sonicare toothbrush, to me at least, typically feels more gentle and less harsh on my teeth and gums compared to Oral-B's sensitive mode. But use a soft bristled head, usually named sensitive, and they both feel more gentle and similar, but different. Oral-B's intense deep clean mode is comparable to the high setting on many upper range Sonicare brushes, set to clean mode at high intensity. Due to all the aforementioned variables, I can't conclusively say that X is better than Y brush in many instances. I might be able to give some indication that clean mode set to medium intensity on the Sonicare Prestige is more or less intense than the O-Clean X Pro Elite on the clean mode at level 32 intensity. Often I'm going from memory and don't have the two brushes immediately available to complete a side-by-side -side comparison. Even if I did, what I feel as an experienced user with healthy teeth is different to somebody else. At best, a lot of what I can report is informed generalizations. I wouldn't recommend specifically looking for a brush with lots of granularity and options. I highly doubt you would make use of them at all. If you want an intense and invigorating clean, pick an upper mid-range model from Oral-B or Sonicare, such as the Oral-B Genius, Smart 6, or Sonicare Protect Clean 6100 or Diamond Clean 9000. If you want a gentle clean, then consider the likes of the Oral-B Vitality or Sonicare 1100 or 2100 series. If you want something that gives the best of both, then our top recommend brushes linked below will do just this. If you're coming to an electric toothbrush for the first time, I strongly encourage you to start out on the lower powered and less intense modes. You'll be looking for sensitive or gum care modes. After a couple of weeks, feel free to move to a clean or deep clean if available, adjusting the intensity accordingly. If you want to know more about a specific brush, do search that brush name followed by electric teeth. We have reviewed lots and I do aim to comment on the feeling of the clean to try and help inform you as best as possible before you commit. Do let me know in the comments below how you have found the different power and intensities on toothbrushes you have used and what's your preference.